Back in July 2020, I reviewed and compared the Shure MVL with the Rode SmartLav Plus, and you guys really appreciated that review, and thank you from my behalf for actually viewing the video and giving me such positive feedback. So when Sennheiser announced the XS Lav Mobile, I was very much intrigued to put it through its paces and compare it to the Shure and Rode mic, just like I did back in July 2020. So in this review, I'll be doing a comparative review, and ultimately you're going to be able to make up your own mind as to which microphone you prefer. Now before jumping into this review, I should mention this is for the 3.5mm jack termination model, and it can be found for £43 in the UK and around $50 in the US. There's also a USB Type-C variant as well of it, which costs a little bit more money. I'm not sure how that performs, I can only imagine it'll be the same sort of performance, but I just sought to mention it as a disclaimer in case you're coming to this review for the Type-C variant of the Sennheiser mic. Now jumping straight into it, the build quality of the microphone is relatively good, but I am not too much of a fan of the 2 meter long cable in comparison to some of its competitors which offer around 1.1 to 1.3 meter long cables. I find the 2 meter is just over the top. I'm also not too much of a fan of the clamp force on the little metal prongs which well, let's say fit around a shirt or a hoodie or something and in this respect makes it a little bit less intuitive to use although for the longevity side of things I think some people who have a very thin piece of clothing this will be quite ideal in comparison to the other microphones in this comparison. Now elsewhere it does come with a soft pouch which is pretty large but it's no surprise given the length of the cable that you get and therefore in comparison to placing it in your pocket in comparison to let's say the Rode or the Shure equivalent what you'll find is the Sennheiser one doesn't feel well as nimble and portable. On the plus side there is a foam tip that does come included as is the case with its competitors so this is nice to see because it's very much handy for those people who are going to be suffering from let's say popping sounds or going to be in more windy environments and of course you can buy accessories if you so wish for it. Now with that aside let's get on to the actual performance and everything you can hear right now is coming directly from the Sennheiser a microphone. It is plugged in via my Rode SC3 adapter which is then plugged into my Zoom H1N. It's a voice recorder. The reason I use the voice recorder is because it allows me to use my phone as my notes when I'm doing let's say car reviews and yes shout out and a small little plug to Totally EV. It's where I do all my car reviews so you should definitely check that out. I'm doing a new car review every single week. But here is the performance of the Sennheiser mic and now we're going to switch over to the Shure. And so here we are with the Shure MVL mic which is pretty much positioned in the same location as the Sennheiser mic and is again connected via the Rode SC3 adapter which is then connected over the Zoom H1N. And here you can potentially see there's slight differences between the Sennheiser mic and the uh, Shure mic. So now we're going to move over to the Rode SmartLav Plus. And here we are with the Rode SmartLav Plus which is again placed in the same position as you might have expected, connected over via the SC3 adapter and then connected over the Zoom H1N. The reason I also use repetition throughout this review, by the way, is because it gives you an idea as to how they compare between the different microphones when I'm repeating pretty much the same words. I don't use a script, I just do it off my head. So that's why there is a little bit of repetition between them. So hopefully you can hear the differences between the three microphones. And now we're gonna go into an outdoor environment for a little bit more of a sort of challenging sort of scene. And now we're in an outdoor environment and everything you can hear right now is coming directly from the Sennheiser microphone, which is then plugged into my Zoom H1N and connected via the SC3 adapter. I'm just gonna go quiet for a second. And the reason I go quiet there is just for you guys to be able to pick up potentially the background noise in terms of the environment, as there's a road that's placed about, I'd say about 30, 40 meters behind the camera. Here's the Shure MVL mic, and it's positioned by my chest. There's a little bit of exterior noise. I'm just gonna go quiet. So hopefully you're able to hear the differences between the microphones. And now we're with the Rode microphone, so hopefully you're able to hear the differences. I'm just gonna go quiet right now. And hopefully that will pick up the differences between the microphones in an external environment. And so now we're back indoors and everything you can hear right now is coming directly from the Sennheiser mic and yet again it's plugged in by the SC3 adapter and the Zoom H1N. Now what I'm going to do is place myself as I am right now and have Priya J, one of my friends, play her song via my bookshelf speakers and it will be played at the same volume across all three microphones. 
This is going to be a kind of test for the microphones to pick up background sound and then when I start talking it's the microphone's job in order to pick up my voice in comparison to Priya's vocals. So hopefully that makes sense and it might make a bit more sense when we get into the test which is going to be now. So now I'm going to be speaking while Priya's song is playing in the background. This will give you an idea of how the microphone does with Priya's vocals playing in the background. So now we're going to move over to the Shure mic. So now I'm going to be speaking with Priya in the background and now I'm using the Shure MVL mic. So hopefully this will give you a comparison between the different microphones. So now we're going to switch over to the Rode mic. So now I'm going to be speaking with the Rode mic while Priya is playing in the background. So again, hopefully it gives you an idea of how the Rode mic performs when there's a little bit of background noise. And now we're back with the Sennheiser microphone and maybe you might be able to pick up a slight difference between when we were recording with the voice recorder. And that's because I'm using my Samsung Galaxy S10 and yes, it's one of a rarity of the phones nowadays that has a 3.5 millimeter jack. Therefore, the microphone is plugged directly into my Samsung Galaxy S10 using the built-in voice recorder and using the standard mode setting. As a result, this will give people an idea of how the microphone will perform when it's plugged in directly into a source device. So for example, if you have a laptop or indeed in my case, if you have a smartphone with a 3.5 millimeter jack. Now next up is the Shure MVL mic, which is again connected via my Samsung Galaxy S10 using the built-in voice recorder and connected directly via 3.5 millimeter jack without the SC3 adapter. So hopefully there is a slight bit of difference between the Sennheiser mic and the Shure MVL. And just to conclude, we're going to go on to the Rode mic. And so here we are with the Rode microphone yet again plugged into my Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and it's plugged in directly without it connected by the SC3 adapter. Hopefully yet again you'll be able to hear the differences between the three microphones and of course make up your own mind. And so there we have it, there is a comparison between the three lavalier microphones in different environments and all on a level playing field. I should mention that for those people wondering, in terms of post-processing, I'll be doing absolutely nothing to the audio recordings. The only thing I will do is make sure that the audio recordings are leveled, but they won't be leveled per segment, if that makes sense. So therefore, in the outdoor shots, they might be a little bit, let's say, one decibel extra, whilst the indoor shots might be minus two decibels, just as a complete example but between the three microphones, that minus two decibels, which was for the indoor environment, will remain present for all three microphones, making it as fair of a level playing field as it could possibly be. So therefore I'm not playing around with the individual levels of each single microphone. Just to give you an example of to how it sounds, and of course the gain volumes, and furthermore, how the raw audio is out the box. So hopefully this video has been helpful for you guys so you can make your own informed purchasing decision. Not sure you will care, but in my opinion, I'm sticking with a short MVL mic because I felt that the overall mid-range came out much better in comparison to the Sennheiser and the Rode mic. And furthermore, in terms of the overall build quality, and by this I mean the cable length and the clip, are just better suited for my personal use. But of course, your mileage may vary. So I'd be very much intrigued to hear your thoughts, not only in terms of the overall recording quality, but in terms of the practicality. Could you see yourself using a lavalier microphone with a two meter long cable? Well, let me know in the comments below. That's what they're there for, ultimately. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you have, give it a like, and of course subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can keep up with the channel and you can see more in-depth, independent, unbiased, and unpaid reviews. And of course, if you wanna see more of that, but in a car format and see me reviewing cars every single week, check out Totally EV. Your support would be equally appreciated. All right, I've been totally dubbed. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.